Why do people not know that vitamin D deficiency can increase dementia risk by 80%? Why do people not know that having a lack of this mineral is affecting their long-term risk of cancer? Why do people not know that having a low omega-3 index is as bad for you in terms of mortality as smoking? And as a scientist, I've seen firsthand that 70% of the way you're aging is actually due to your lifestyle. And all these things are so easy to do. So for example, as we age, certain areas of the brain, which is involved in learning and memory, starts to shrink by about one to 2% per year. The good news is studies show that people being part of an exercise protocol, not only did they not have their hippocampus shrink, it actually grew by one to 2%. And there's more. There are other things that don't even require as much effort as exercise, like supplements. And it's been shown study after study that if you take someone and you sleep deprive them for 21 hours and give them 25 to 30 grams of creatine, not only does it negate the cognitive deficits of sleep deprivation, it makes people function better than if they were well rested. And then there's magnesium. There have been studies showing that people with the highest magnesium levels have a 40% lower all-cause mortality and over 300 different enzymes in your body need it to help with short-term survival. And yet 50% of the population in the United States does not have adequate levels of magnesium. And there's still more.